no i think this uh, take this loss as a, a great opportunity now because it's an opportunity where you really build your team this is where you test your characters this is how you grow uh, i obviously heard you out about what that lowest total something to you but uh, i think most interesting part of this whole thing is the phases of the game and i think skipper mentioned it very clearly that first 45 minutes the first 10 overs phase is where we wanted to absorb more pressure losing those couple of wickets early obviously put us on back foot uh, for me i thought that uh, we have lost three or four wickets before as well but that uh, build up the partnership which we were building up again between kushal malla and bheem sharki uh, that was pretty much trying to repair and bring us back in the game i uh, re- we really wanted that partnership to grow and go more little more bigger i think that's where the situational awareness and game awareness matters and that's we have been sp- speaking about it a lot we were aware that uh, yesterday the sun was not out and today the condition could be challenging and what if we put in so we obviously had a discussion around it as well Uh, but i thought the nerves were not settled nerves were not settled in the morning and again what we will do is we'll go back to our drawing board we'll do our homework we'll make sure that the areas where we need to nudge a bit polish a bit we'll work on that and we'll come back strong no oh, i disagree i think uh, odi games a lot of players had stepped up uh, we had batting all the way till 8 9 so balance was never a question i think the batters had to step up today which we missed out if they all had batted to their potentials especially their approach the first 30 balls approach they know their plans in place uh, then the things would have been different we got six odd wickets defending 130 in my mind if we had two impact partnerships in middle we could have scored around 230 240 and this could have been a winning score for today that's the way i felt right now yeah 240 i think 230 240 was something in our head but for to get to 230 240 we needed a start so obviously we missed out losing four wickets in power play you are totally on back foot and that's where i said big partnership were required because others who are in then they, they need to take the responsibility of batters who missed out so i'm sure they will reflect on that and we'll come back yeah i mean more than wake up call like i said we 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 were winning so now what will happen is when you lose there are emotions for the, uh, when you lose as well so how you manage those emotions right uh, experiences are there and we need to keep on taking these experiences ODI format has got so many ups and downs the skills which comes across the teams which comes across i mean uh, i think this time around all the eight teams in league 2 are very competitive sides so the maturity will matter and i'm sure that you know we the one day gap in between is good way to reflect and then come back again for the next opponent captain not a good start uh, as a bhanna you know, shuruaat mein फर्स्ट बल में अलग विकेट गए पे वो मोमेंटम हमें क्यारी कर भन्न मिलते हैं क्रिकेट में भन्न मिलते हैं क्योंकि दस एगार बैट्समैन होना है सो सुरू को विकेट आई आई डोट थिंक अलग होता है मोमेंटम बट स्टिल पूरे इंपैक्ट पारे गेम में है सो एज एज अ बैटिंग यूनिट आई थिंक जो फर्स्ट फेज थी फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स को आई थिंक तैंत हमें अल बेटर बैटिंग कर पड़ने थे सो टप फोर फाइव बैट्समैन ने रेस्पोन्सिबिलिटी लिएन आज सो आई थिंक तीन चाहिए अलग हेम्पर भो जो लगे क्रेडिट नैमिनियन बोलर क्यों दिखने पर्व मैं तो कंडीशन एकदम राम यूज गए बोल इन वेरी गुड एरिया मैं जस्ट लाइन ट्रम्पल मैन ने स्पेशली जो डेब्यूटेंट थी अर्क एंड वहाँ एकदम एरिया एकदम राम संभाल्भ थी और प्लस कंडीशन भी वहाँ को फेवर में थी सो आई थिंक तो कंडीशन एकदम राम यूज गए सो एज अ बैटिंग यूनिट आई थिंक कंडीशन अलग टैकल हमें राम सब गए जो लगे सो तो पार्ट में वर्क करना एकदम जरूरी है जो लगता है हजर अब बैट बैट्समैन तो हम एक लास्ट समय थे है मैं ते भनी सके अगि जो जो अपर्चुनिटी पाए युटिलाइज करें स्टार्ट्स युटिलाइज करें टप फोर फाइव बैट्समैन एकदम इंपोर्टेंट होता है ओडियाई में अभी टप फाइव फोर फाइव विकेट्स खसे तो इंपैक्ट में टीम में पड़ हाल बट स्टिल तो भई भैस आई थिंक एरासमस को जो विकेट लिख लास्ट लास्ट आई थिंक तैंत अल बेटर पार्टनरशिप कर सकते हैं एज अ बैट्समैन तैं तो पार्ट में अलग मिस भर जो लगे बॉलिंग भाई आई थिंक बैटिंग में बड़ी फोकस थे बॉलिंग चाहे पार्ट टाइम कर रहा थे कंट्रिब्यूट कर खुशी भैन खुशी लगता है सो बैट बैटिंग मेन फोकस हो बॉलिंग तो अब तो कंट्रिब्यूट कर क्लिक भैर थे है सो आई थिंक पीएम कप को आई थिंक हमीस बॉलर थे सो मैं चिपिन कर जरूरी जो लगता है सो यहाँ पर तेई सीचुएसन्स थी सो खास आई आई डोट थिंक बॉलिंग बड़ी फोकस था मेरे जो लगता है Yeah, obviously, I think when uh, the pitch is prepared with a little bit of dampness like that, it becomes a bigger toss to win. Um, 
unfortunately last year we when he came here we lost the first three tosses and the last game we sort of were in a winning position but didn't manage to get over the line. So a big toss to win but in saying that you still have to play good cricket on the day and um, didn't really expect uh, them to crumble like that but uh, I suppose the pressure that we applied on the opposition um, um, made, the, made, the, made it tough for the batters and um, I think 130 was a good score to restrict them to. Not really individually um, try and focus more on our own processes and then just follow a little bit of a gut feel on the field and I think that's what we try to do in our team whether it's uh, the bowler making the call or uh, if the if the keeper sees something then he needs to make that call and um, luckily today I made a few calls that came off and I think that's the beauty of trusting your instinct in, in sport. Uh, it's sometimes that natural way is the one that just works the best whether you're batting, bowling, fielding or captaining um, and that 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 luckily came off today. Um, yeah, it's just trying to create some variation. You know, it's uh, something that that I've done for a while. It's something that other bowlers have done for a while. So, um, yeah, not really something special about it. To, you're not really going to make the, make a big thing about it. It's just a different ball, really. Yeah, as I said a little bit earlier, we didn't really plan um, like specifics to any of the players. We have a general idea of what the players do. Um, you have maybe a general plan, maybe one field placement that you want to make specific, but uh, you still try and uh, you know follow your own process. And if you do that really well, then um, you, you more or less um, you know most of the time trump the opposition. So um, yeah, we had to firstly do our job. We had to firstly put the ball in the right areas when we bowled. Uh, we had to bowl the right variations when when that was needed. And um, those little bits of instinct and trusting yourself where to put the fielders. It's then something that's just an add-on. So they didn't have like many theories and stuff coming into the game. Mo mostly, really, just applied my mind on the ground. Yeah, obviously, when you play in more difficult conditions, then t we could tend to fall one after the other, making it so much more important for the guys that are in to really follow through with that partnership. And um, I remember just when we started this journey with the Namibian team in World Cricket League, we. Uh, we had a few, you know, of these tight games and with the batting, maybe struggling a bit more with, than the bowling and all around the world, playing all around the world in the associate world, it used to be very tough conditions. And over the last period, over the last year and a half or so, we've really tried to put emphasis on the top order, setting good foundations and scoring good runs. And that's been uh, very fruitful for us the last year or so, um, where the top order have really cashed in heavily, um, especially in the T20 format. We, we, we're now looking to also do that on a consistent basis in the one-day format. So a little bit disappointing not for, for us at the top to have finished the game off with maybe one down or two down. Um, uh, it was really an opportunity for those guys to, uh, you know, uh, sort of turn turn the knife there and really make, make it a big win. Um, but in saying that, maybe a good opportunity for everyone for the top eight to sort of in game one get a feel of the ground, get a feel of the fans, Archer, get a feel of the um, pitch and the opposition bowler. So maybe it has some something good for us for the rest of the series. No, not really. It was expected to bat in the top the, the top set, top four was what we're gonna gonna go with before the game. And um, yeah, we wanna trust our batters to uh, go in and do the job. Uh, he's an experienced campaigner and we and uh, I don't think there's this any longer, you know, um, sort of in selection you can't be um, safe and try and play at bat nine batters or play nine batters and ten batters especially after the previous two a year we thought it was going to be quite flat out here so we believe to go really attacking um, and and to select a proper attack and five bowlers and then one extra one or two extra bowlers so we went the, the more positive route today um, I guess it was a great luck to win the toss and then that extra bowler was really helpful in that first 30 to sort of, um, you know, um, push the opposition back. But um, yeah, that's the way I want the, the team to play is really positively. We expect the batters to bat and the bowlers to bowl. So um, hopefully that may continue and we can get some fruits from that. Yeah, I've been pushed a little bit by some of the senior guys like David Visa and some of the others to bowl myself more. And I guess sometimes I, I, I didn't do that um, quite enough in the past. Um, but I think in the T20 format, I'm now quite comfortable to call myself a bowler. I've um, started playing across the world as well and bowled in, in various higher levels as well. So, um, yeah, very much comfortable with the ball in the T20 format. Uh, 
in the past in the fifth year before mid we've had a few other personnel that have sort of bowled a little bit more spin like Bakia France, uh, Bernard Scholtz. Um, I try and just do what's best for the team so if I have to bowl more then, then that will happen um, and, 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 and my skill continues to go up if you, if you perform out there and you get a little bit more confidence and I guess loads under the belt, match, match game ready loads. So, um, yeah, definitely looking to add that, um, to solidify that as a, myself as an all-rounder. Yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess we've been a team that have had excellent all-rounders um, over the last couple, the last five years or so. We've had the likes of Jan Freiling, JJ Smith, myself, Ruben Trimpelman, Nikolov to Eaton. All of these guys bat and bowl, um, good all-rounders, and it's sort of that um, match-up and that sort of mix and match that we've. Um, been able to put together over the last couple of years to get results and probably to punch above our weight a little bit. Um, so in terms of a T20 team that sometimes is very useful and you can sort of get results by having lots of all-rounders but I do believe in the longer format you have to specialize a little bit more and uh, the batters have to bat and the bowlers have to bowl and then maybe select one or two all-rounders. Um, but in saying that with Jan, Jan's bowling loads um, being a little less these days and Unfortunately, JJ Smith being on, on injury and not bowling, it makes it um, essential for myself to bowl. Um, I've, I kind of felt that pressure before the game, knowing that I'm now the fifth bowler and this is ODI cricket, it's a high level for, it used to be an off spinner to just come in and fulfill a, um, a, a full role. Um, but luckily it went my way today and you know, games like these give you confidence as an all-rounder to hopefully then again um, put out some fires with JJ not bowling and, and sort of balance out the team.